Now You're Lovely, where we carry the largest selection of Silverwood flowers in the United States. Welcome back to another tutorial. This tutorial is, um, it's a mesh of a tutorial we've done in the past for a cute little centerpiece. And then, oops, I forgot to turn off my notifications. Shh, computer. And a mashup between... Between the centerpiece, I'm gonna turn that off in two seconds, I promise, but I, we're already here. Centerpiece and cake stand. Do I have your attention? Let's roll the intro and I will talk about this project. I'm stinking excited. you guys so the tutorial is a mashup of we did these wire hooped centerpieces once before testing out different glues and little dot like uh, glue dots and stuff it's a ton of fun I'll link that down below and then we've done a couple different cake stand tutorials this time we're still gonna use hula hoops because um, it works really well but we're going to position them differently like we did the centerpiece so let's show you all of the supplies and we'll jump into it. I think this is going to work. I never test these things out beforehand. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling good about this. And if not, as always, we'll figure it out along the way. Um, very stinking excited. So let's jump into all of it. I'll stop talking about how excited because I'm slightly uh, stalling because these always make me nervous too. And let's just, let's just do this. The supplies needed for this tutorial, you need two hula hoops the same size. Now, these had stickers on them. I took them off. It's super easy to do that. Most hula hoops now, it's like a vinyl sticker. Um, take them off. These in particular also had that like little, those little noise makers. Um, and it's held together. Let's see. Right there. So when I was getting ready and pulling everything together for this particular tutorial, realized that my hula hoops were not the same size. So it's no biggie. You can cut it down to size and wear these connections. We're going to glue those in place so that they don't pop out. And we'll also be gluing them more. So super secure. And then I uh, spray painted them a flat matte black but you could do any kind of color that you want. Um, these are plastic, so you want a spray paint that adheres to plastic, if that's what you're gonna use. Then you need some sort of wood piece. I am gonna go a little bit like cheat just slightly. These are some blank um, framed wood pieces I got at a craft store a while ago. I have a whole bunch of them. So originally I was debating if we were gonna do like this or even because this was whitewashed, it actually came this color, the blonde wood. Um, but instead what I decided was to spray paint it black. So everything is black for the holder itself, but you can mix and match your things. Um, also for greenery, I know I've been using this one a lot, but it's like, I'm just in love with this particular filler. This is the Summer Poppy greenery. It's already broken down because I used it for other projects and then I'm now reusing it for this one. Um, I also grabbed, this is a fern eucalyptus mix, similar kind of color tones. These will play together well if I need some more. Then I have a two-tone angel vine. Um, this also has that yellow undertone to it, actually full on yellow basically. So that'll also play well with this. And then I have this little guy, this was from at home. I may or may not use this one. I'm not 100% sure. And then for flowers, we're going with kind of that cappuccino rose kind of coloring. This was again from another project that I've absolutely loved, has been sitting on a shelf for probably two years now at this point, and I just took it apart so that I could reuse these flowers for something else. I do that. I do that a lot. <laughs> so depending on how you make things, um, there are times when you can reuse something or take a project apart and use it for something else. All right, those are the supplies you'll also need. Hot glue, 
a little bit of twine possibly. And I think, I think that's it. So, oh, and then um, paddle wire. Paddle wire is gonna be handy or bind wire. And in a pinch, maybe regular floral wire, but it might be too tough to wrap. So I would go with paddle wire or bind wire. All right, let's jump into it. What we're gonna do, now this has a nice handy dandy lip, and I know because it's black on black and I'm wearing black, I didn't think that part through very well. Um, it's a little hard to see, but there's this lip inside that I'm actually gonna use to my advantage. Now you could also put it on the outside, and now I'm looking at that going, maybe I should put it on the outside. No, I'm gonna put it in the inside. I feel like I can get a better contact with glue. It's not gonna do, it's not gonna be as dramatic of a kind of wide spot, but I know that a cake stand will still fit in there just fine. And I feel like I can attach these better. So in a second, I'll show you what the top looks like. But for right now, I'm going to glue these into place right here. Let's let that dry, and then we'll start working on gluing the top. Well, it's kind of dry, but it's not completely dry. Um, but I'm gonna put some glue in there right now, and then I'm going to wrap some twine up here. We're gonna cover that with the greenery and flowers anyway, so it's fine to have that there. Or you can somehow either tie in different colors from the event, things like that. There's lots you can do um, to, I don't know, hide that connection point. I do want to go slow and steady with this though because I don't want that glue to drip down. So I'm just gonna gently get some connection points going. You could also, for additional stability, take and drill a holes and then take your the screw and screw in the hoop into the side of the frame if you use a piece like this that has like a little lip or if you build it yourself. Um, the tube though is going to collapse a little bit, so be aware of that. But it's another way to add in st some stability. You could also add in E6000 if you wanted to, um, that's a good option to do the E6000 first and then put a little bit of hot glue on top of that. So then what'll happen is the E6000 takes 24 hours usually to fully um, cure. But then while that's curing, the hot glue is set in place so that it's not gonna move in that aspect. So I've gotta cover a little bit more here, I think. Oh, actually, no I don't. We have this magic thing called the scissors. So I'm gonna do that. And this one, I'm going to just tie off. And then we're gonna be putting flowers on this and greenery, so that's gonna cover up most of that, but now that's nice and clean and tidy. So now we can decorate the hoop. How quick was that? Granted, I didn't show you the spray painting and stuff that was prep work beforehand, but you know, that doesn't take that long to spray paint. And all I see the longest thing is to take all those dang stickers off the hula hoop. All right, let's get into the greenery next. Um, and then we'll, we'll wrap it up with flowers, so. All right, we're gonna try 
hi, a different camera angle. Um, the other thing I'm gonna try is zip ties. Now, these might stick out a little bit too much, so maybe we won't do that, but I wanna try, um, just because I think it'll go quicker. Uh, the one thing to note when you do use zip ties, however, is um, they can scratch up the paint. Uh, I've had that happen before, um, so touching up might be something that is, is needed as well. You could also possibly take the twine and just um, do some tying to that. All right, I wanna get a real big burn. I should probably add flowers already. Tearing this particular greenery apart. And it's not going as easily as they typically are when they're those mixed greenery sets, but it's okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it work. one flower the stem was a lot longer so I actually just wrapped the stem around and that held it into place so that's gonna work really well I think too what we can do is we can glue some flowers throughout too um, so I'm not going to make a huge deal now this one I want to be my last piece which will probably end right around there based off of the greenery that I have yeah, I think we're gonna end it right there. Oh, you can't even see it, hold on. We're gonna end it right there. So I still got this grouping to, and we're gonna flip this around. So the next one, we're good to go. The last one, um, the last bundle, I'm going to want to pay attention so that we're gonna need to flip it the other way as well. I'm gonna do this. Have another flower. So that we just have it ready to go. Another quicker way to do this is by using a wreath. A wreath will make it go so much faster in terms of filling out the space, and then you just have to add in some little extra bits and bobs wherever you'd like to add them. Um, so there's my pro tip of the day. I really like to use uh, wreaths when I can. Another little bunch of these guys. And another one of these, and I've been sliding those up. And flowers. All right, now we're going to flip flop it. This is typically the, the hardest part, but I already know exactly what flower is going to go in that spot. So we're good to go. I'm going to make it a little extra extra since it's going to the bottom. So I'm going to add two of the vine guys these are so much fun because they just give a lot of whimsy and they're uh, very uh what's the word wispy they're wispy to me which i love very much i'm not going to add a flower to this part though um because of the flower that's about to go in there and i think we're going to need to get vikram turned back on so i'm going to do that in two seconds Hardest part with this sometimes is just your placement of your hands. Oh my gosh, it's coming together. I do have this little wispy guy that we haven't added in yet. I'll probably do that. 
Um, and we've got those other flowers. So let's change up the angle a little bit and we're gonna fill in the rest of this. All right, so the flower that I know I want to put here is that lovely guy. He's a little bit fuller. First thing we're gonna do though is cut off Need to get Vikram back on. So we're gonna need to glue some of these things. But I think this one I'm gonna be able to slide in. Yeah, right there. Uh, I'll show you the back of this too in a second so you can see what it looks like. Um, in all honesty, I'll probably trim up a little bit, but for the most part, I'm gonna leave it as is. If you wanted to, you could decorate the other side too. Maybe like start from this side and go on the other way or fill it in on both sides so that you have this like wispy thing going on. I want to try something though. So what I want to do, so I have this lovely spider mom that is still like tightly wound and I have these pieces of greenery that were used on other artificial greenery and it has these like tubes. So what I can do is I want this flower to like be coming out and not so densely packed in there. So I'm gonna slide my wire into there and it just gives a little bit of a thicker stem so that it looks a little bit more realistic. And I'm going to try to slide it in the rest of this so that it has like this little bit of a a little movement and you can't even see where I put it. It's there you go. It's sitting up over there. I probably didn't even need to put that wire stem on there to be completely honest now that I see it in there. But I did it anyway. Alright, so now I just gotta figure out where are the rest of the flowers I want them to go. Now what I'm doing is with the wires so you can either glue these into place or I'm taking the wires and I'm sliding them through the um, bits of, what's the word I'm looking for? Zip ties. So it's working, it's working for me. Okay, I'm gonna add in that other little flower. So give me two seconds. I'm gonna try to add this in backwards. Is that a good idea? I can't tell you. We'll figure it out in two seconds if I can actually even see what I need to be able to see. The really tall guy, I'm gonna cut him in two spots. off the different zip ties. Now if I was making this to be a 360 so you could walk around the whole thing, I would definitely do something on the back end of this. But because this is going to be a forward facing, in my mind, in my event, I'm not that worried about covering up those white zip ties. Um, ideally, using black zip ties would have been much better. In this case, um, then I would have been able to kind of hide those connections. But I'm still, I'm okay with it. It's fine. I'm also gonna trim up any of the wires that are just a little bit longer than I want them to be. I think we're close to done. Let's do a, a close up and then we'll pop in a fake cake. Now, don't judge me because the fake cake has flowers in it that don't match this in any way. Maybe I'll just put it on the back side of it. I don't want to redo the cake right now. So, oh, does it look like, oh. I can't see very well as far as my screen, but it looks like a, a really pretty floral like head crown right now on my head. At least that's what I'm saying in my mind. All right, let's see if, how the cake stand looks with it on there. 
I know the cake doesn't match the rest, but it can give you a visual of what we're looking at. Pay no mind to the, the spring decorated cake and the more kind of ferny, tropical looking arch we've got going. It works though. Look at that. Look at that. Three pieces. And fairly sturdy, which is what we like. Well, there you guys go. There you have it, a new version of a cake stand. We've done a couple here as well as over on Facebook. Um, so make sure to check those out too if you're looking for additional inspiration for a cake stand. And I'll also link that one centerpiece that we did. Um, you guys seem to really enjoy that particular project, so I'll make sure to link that below as well. That's using um, gold like macrame type hoops. This one, obviously, is a bigger version with hula hoops. Also, um, not so fun fact, hula hoops can be a little bit hard to find. So um, I apologize in advance if you're looking and it's an off season. The best time I've found to find them is early in the summer at the dollar store, the Dollar Tree, and Walmart have been my go-tos. I believe there's some places online as well that you can order, but the cheapest one I've ever been able to find is the Dollar Tree, which at the time, I got them was a dollar. They'd probably be now a dollar twenty-five. Um, so yeah, there you go. If you're loving these videos, can't get enough. Want to know the next time we drop a tutorial, which is usually once a week. Make sure to subscribe and ring that bell to find out about the 150 style solo wood flowers along with craft supplies and greenery. Go to oyourlovely.com. But before you do, let me give you something. Use the code YouTube30 to get 30% off your first order. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining. I'll see you next week for another tutorial. I'm Stephanie from Oh You're Lovely, and you, my friends, are absolutely lovely. Bye, guys. I'll say this, every time I do a tutorial, even with a fake cake, I then want cake. I want cake.